Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 35 of our Better Minecraft Plus Let's Play series, where today we are working on getting a super overpowered enchant of fortune on our pickaxe. So yeah, let's get started. So we're back home in our nice, beautiful, open-roofed base here. I really, really need to work on this. First off, I need to work on expanding <clears throat> the whole base up one level, um, or at least all the walls. Hello, little butterfly. How are you, monarch? Monarch butterfly, aren't monarch butterflies like rare? He loves me, he wants to be my friend. Let's get a jar. I already have a jar, and I forgot, I already have a butterfly in this jar. Let's go ahead and put this butterfly. Um, let's go ahead and put this guy right here. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. It's shift click to place it. Look, there we go, perfect spot for it, right there. Yeah, it fits our decor of I was trying to do better by building and the outside looks decent and the inside looks terrible. You know, that's just what it is. <clears throat> anyway, um, so we're back home at our base and it is actually raining right now, which is a perfect time for us to get our dragon egg that we had um, gotten from, a, I believe it was a quest, wasn't it? I think so. I don't remember where we got this. It was a couple episodes ago. You guys should know. If you go back, you'll know. Um, but anyway, if we put this down and it's raining, this is going to cause the dragon egg to start hatching because it is a lightning dragon. Um, and yeah, basically, it's going to do this little twirly, whirly, wobbly, wibbly uh, stuff. And eventually, we're going to get a dragon out of it. With that, I want to go ahead and get ourselves a dragon horn so we can pick up our friend, the dragon and move him around as needed, as well as a dragon command staff. Yes, uh, which just requires a dragon skull, which we do have. Um, we can use our stage three one. And yeah, by the way, if you weren't aware, you can actually place these skulls in the world um, just by clicking them down. And yeah, they are pretty darn massive. Uh, if we take our stage five that we did not kill, we found a corpse of, but if we place this guy down, look how massive this stage five dragon skull is. Uh, so yeah, you, you can put them in your base. I, I don't know if I necessarily recommend it. And I, there we go. You just click on it with an empty hand to pick it back up. There we go. A couple times, maybe, or maybe I was just clicking in the wrong spot. Uh, either way, yeah, you can place them in your world. Maybe the smaller dragon heads would look a little better, so you don't have to have them. Unless you had like a, uh, you know, Game of Thrones style basement underneath your red keep in which you have the skulls of dragons down there. That would be cool, but we don't have that here. So anyway, we're going to let the dragon do its thing. He's going to grow, and then eventually he'll show up here. Um, hmm, now that I think about it, when the lightning dragon grows, doesn't a bolt of lightning come down? And this is wood. Uh, we are going to have to be very careful with that we don't burn down our entire base. So we are going to have to monitor that. We'll keep checking back in on this guy. Anyway, a uh, couple things. First off, um, I want to check out how much of this Ethereum do we have? We have nine pieces of Ethereum ore. The Ethereum ore is used in a blast furnace or smelting, either way, you know, one's faster than the other, of course, to create Ethereum ingots from Enigmatic Legacy. And Ethereum ingots can be used to make Ethereum armor. It's also used in the Grace of the Creator scroll that we're going to be, you know, doing. We have literally everything we need for this part, except for the Gift of the Heaven. And in order to get the Gift of Heaven, um, we have to get this Angel's Blessing. We have everything except the nether star but we can i mean that that part's not too difficult the angel's blessing um is a spell stone as you can see and it is only found inside of like the temples desert temples village temple or jungle temples um so only place you can find them is inside of those so we are definitely going to do some exploring <clears throat> um because you know create a flight i mean the elytra is cool you see Whee! but at the same time creative flight is better it is at the cost of experience but remember we have um 762 levels inside of our thing so I, i'm not concerned about the experience at all so there's that um a couple different things we have let's see what was the quantum cancer yeah we needed spawner scrap so we need to work on that it has been brought to my attention that to get spawner scrap you have to use a silk touch pickaxe on a spawner so we do have a silk touch pickaxe don't we yes so next time I find a spawner, we'll start breaking it with the Silk Touch. I don't know if it needs to have fortune on it as well. That's a good question that I don't have an answer to. But if it does, 
Um, we, I mean, we can throw that into our Enchant thing. I don't know if Fortune and Silk Touch can even be on the same tool. But, yeah. Um, I think we have a, do we have a honing available on this guy? No, not yet. Oh, not even close. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. I want to get this thing leveled up before we uh, re-enchant it again. It has been pointed out that people keep saying in the comments that you cannot enchant Tetra tools in a um, standard enchant, which, I, as far as I know, used to be true. I think, I don't know. I, I don't know. We definitely saw results, though, when we put this in the Eidolon Enchanter and got it up to power five. It definitely gave us power five. When I did the honing, though, it stripped that off. So I don't know if that's just a weird mod conflict between Tetra and Eidolon that allowed that to happen, but it definitely worked. And we also got Infinity 1 on here, and that stayed, even through honing and everything. The Infinity has, has remained. So I don't know. To be honest, are you supposed to be able to enchant things, uh, Tetra things, in a standard enchantment table? I don't know. It worked for us, kind of. Uh, and the rain did stop, so our dragon is not going to hatch. So that's unfortunate. So let's just go ahead and pick this bad boy back up. And we can just throw it back in there until our next rainstorm, because it does reset the progress. So it has to be raining the entire time. That's the one unfortunate thing with the lightning dragon. It has to have a full day of raining. And I didn't know exactly when I caught this storm. So, yeah. Anyway. Also, comments have been pointing out that there is this enchantment library that is available through Apotheosis, which allows you to store enchantments. You can insert an enchanted book, um, and then you can take that book out, and it will take out as the uh, max level available if you use, um, I think it uses experience. So, yeah, this is not bad. This is just four hell shelves, an enchanting table, and an ender chest. We have three hell shelves already. And refresh my memory. What were we missing for this? And absolutely nothing. So yeah. Let's let's make this enchanting library. I want to see what it does. Um, so we need another enchanting table, which should be easy enough. And we need a, a couple ender chests. One, two, not some more ender, eyes of ender. three four and we can now get the enchanting library yes okay enchantment library let's go ahead and put this guy oh let's put it right above you know because it's kind of sort of fits the theme and that spot doesn't count for the enchanting table either so <laughs> also another thing in the comments that people have been pointing out is that these corner books don't count for enchanting and i don't no, if that's true. Let's see. We have an enchanting power of 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus 13, 14. That tells us right there, corner books do count. I believe that was changed in like version 1.14 or something of Minecraft. I, I don't know. Or maybe it's Apotheosis that's adding it. But look, there are 14 bookshelves around and we have an enchanting power of 14. That means these corner bookshelves are affecting our enchanting power. So to all of you in the comments saying it's not, it does. I appreciate the comments though. Anyway, enchanting library. How does this thing work? Let's find something enchanted. Um, enchant. So let's say we had, it says you can pull out the highest level of something. So let's say we have this poison blade and slayer five. Though I think both of these are the highest. Um, so I can pull out Slayer 2, Slayer 3, Slayer 4. Okay, so I can pull out the Slayer 5 book. Max level available is 3. And if I put that there, oh, I see, I see, I see. So it kind of takes like duplicates. Is that is that what I'm getting? So let's see, do we have anything like we have a bunch of? No, not really. That's unfortunate. Um, enchant. Yeah, we don't really have, like, I wanted to see how this would work. Like, okay, so this has protection four on it. Wasn't, didn't I see a protection three? Yes. So how does this work? Okay, so if I put this protection four and this protection three, uh, the max level available is four. 
So basically, next level unavailable. Wait, so there's a four. Oh, and I pulled out the three. Oh, but you can kind of combine books there. <clears throat> so you can combine books without having to uh, use experience. That's kind of actually nice. Let's look at like our armor. Um, yeah. Feather falling, fire protection, like icy thorns. Can we put can we put items in here? No. So you do have to strip the uh, enchant off of there. Okay. Just curious to see how this works because somebody told me there is a thing that you can do, and we're gonna try this real quick with Tetra. Okay. If you get a gold axe from Tetra, so if we get a uh, just a standard axe, what am I doing? If we get a standard. Let's get a golden axe. Okay. And we take this, and do we have any books with anything with looting? Um, looting? No. Okay. So we need to find this something. Someone said you can get looting 15 using this method. So what we need to do is pop over to our um, enchanting area. I need to get something with looting on it. It doesn't matter what looting level they said, but... It just needs to have looting on it. We're going to try this out. Can we get looting 15 using the Apotheosis library? I, I don't know. Okay. Um, will you get looting on you? No. Uh, because it's swords that have looting. And then there is also fortune. Maybe I have fortune. Do I have fortune? I do have fortune. Though getting all of these off of there is going to be a pain. I'd have to get an anvil with splitting on it. If you didn't know, you can split enchants with an anvil in Apotheosis. Let's see. Can we throw the anvil in here? We can, and it gets splitting on it. Um, soul crystal. Or soul shards. My bad. So if we do this and get some experience... We can get splitting on our anvil. Splitting, if uh, you didn't know, splitting allows you to split enchants. Allows the anvil to split multiple enchants. And I believe the higher levels give it a bit higher chance to split it like more successfully. Is that a word? <laughs> more successfully? Either way, we have the ability to max it out, at least with vanilla levels. So we're definitely gonna go ahead and just do that. I don't want to risk losing anything. Uh, so that's you and you and splitting five. Okay. So if we take this and we take this, if I drop magnet, please. So if I drop this, uh, this isn't going to work in this area because we don't have enough height. So let's see. If I take this and I put it here and I take our anvil it just did damage do I need to have books <clears throat> from oh allows the anvil to split multiple enchantments from books that it falls on okay so I need to go back home I need to do a grindstone I've actually never used this before surprise surprise something that I have not used should come as a surprise to no one there's a lot of things I haven't used Oh, and also I updated the pack and our, we lost our doors. I apparently, I don't remember what mod our doors had come from. Was it Macaw's furniture or something? But I guess that was removed because our doors are gone. Yeah, lost our doors. Um, anyway, so if I get a book. Come on. And we put this in there. Uh, and it's 14 levels that we need for this. It's you and you. Okay, so now we have this. And then if we split this. So if we take our book and we put it here. And then we drop the anvil on it. Well, look, we got a bunch of different books. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 5, Fortune 3, and Acquisition. Okay, that worked. 
And this actually operates as a normal anvil. Do I have any uh, anything with indestructible? Let's just get an indestructible anvil. I know I have something with it on there. Um, I don't know if that thing can have tinted on it. So let's just go ahead and do this. That's you with you, four levels. Uh, you, you, indestructible. And then I should be able to do this and this. Can you get indestructible on you? And is the tinted what's causing it to not be able to? Oh, maybe you can't. Oh, you can only have unbreaking. Okay. Yeah, there's no smithing table recipe. Um, so let's go ahead and let's keep. Okay, you can go away. The fortune's the one that we wanted. And how about unbreaking? I have unbreaking six. Is that my best? Can I get unbreaking seven? Yes. No. Unbreaking six is the highest. Okay. It did not combine. You can see that here. No go. A six and six just make six. So six levels. Okay. So now we can just replace this anvil. So this will always be our splitting anvil. So if we want to split anything, we just break it boop, and then we can just drop stuff on top of it. We don't have to worry about it. So that's there. Okay. So back to what we were doing, trying to make a super um, enchanted ax, seeing if this is going to work. Okay. And if it does, I'll find out who is the one who commented on this and we will, uh, you know, we'll get the cool, get the credit. All right, so if you make a gold axe, bam, it made a double-headed gold axe. And then they said we have to enchant this. Um, let me pull up my comments real quick. Okay, go to the Tetra table, make a gold axe and make two axe head, put looting or fortune on the left head. Okay, so axe head. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, look, enchant. Fortune three. I need three levels of experience. Okay. Enchant, fortune three, craft. Okay. Oh, I need to put it on the other head too. Son of a gun. You have to have it on both heads. I don't have another book. I should have thought about that ahead of time. Okay, <clears throat> I need more fortune. And it figures I don't have anything else. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was fortune. I don't have anything else on it with on with fortune except for this. So let me go back to my uh, enchanting table, my Eidolon thing, and get fortune three on something so that we can do this. We're just going to try this. You know, it's, we're experimenting. It's experiment day. Okay, got fortune three on a golden pickaxe. There are some weird enchants in here, by the way. Uh, if you didn't know, you can enchant books, which will let you get some random enchants. Like, I don't know what this cooldown is, but like some of these things, they don't tell you what they do. <clears throat> um, this is from the twist mod, but I don't know what cooldown does. We also got like potato recovery from create, but it has no enchantment description. So <laughs> I don't know what that means. And we have light speed from Pyromancer. I don't know what that does. Uh, floating allows your horse to float in water. And then I just had hunting. I also happened to get lucky and got looting in here on one of them. But it didn't, uh, you know, maintain. Like, I can't get anything higher. So anyway, so we have this axe. We need to get um, enchant stripped off of this pickaxe, which has fortune. And we're just experimenting. Like I said, we're trying to see, does... Um, is it possible to get looting 15 or fortune 15 on here or max level or whatever the heck the max level is on this just by using a golden pickaxe? Because if that works, we can get looting higher on our sword even too. And then, you know, even get better stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, um, so we need to go here. We need to do this. We need our books. I need five levels. Let's just get a couple extra because we're going to need it to enchant the other side of this axe. Um, so it was you and you, which is going to give me fortune. <clears throat> and then we come over here. 
And we pop this guy back in here, enchant it with fortune. So now we have fortune on both sides, okay? So fortune on both sides, we're just counting it as fortune six, which makes sense because fortune three and three is, well, six. So then it says, if we come over here and we strip this off of here, which requires eight levels. Okay, so we put this in here with this. That's gonna get us a book. And then we put it into our library and max level available is six. Is that the highest available for fortune? No, the highest available is seven. Slap the book in the library. You can make a fortune max enchant. Yeah, it just gives me six. This didn't do, I mean, that was, I mean, it gave me three and three, which allowed me to get six, which is great, but it didn't, uh, I mean, I guess I could do this again, and then maybe you can combine these two. Like if I were to get another ax, and I were to put this fortune six on one side, fortune six on another, and that'll get me fortune 12. That would be something. And now I kind of want to try it out. Would that be possible? Would that get us fortune 12? Like, can we break the numbers? Huh. That's a good question. I'd have to get another two Fortune 3 books. Uh, let me let me go do that real quick, and we will try this again. Okay, so here we are. We've got this side, and we have, let's see, I was doing Fortune, this side. I did do my Fortune book, right? I was able to level up that one book of looting to looting three, so if this works, we can, you know, I can do it with looting as well. So there we go, we have Fortune 6 on this ax. And then if we come over here and we take it off, that now gives us fortune six. So we got another fortune six book, okay. We need to go ahead and make ourselves another ax. And what happens if I put fortune six on both of these? Is that gonna get me fortune 12? We'll find out. We will find out. Okay, so we need to change this to a ax head with some gold, bam, and then Enchant this side with fortune six, which is going to require us to have six levels, which is what we have. So now that's fortune six. Um, add on some more experience because we're going to need some to strip this enchant off too. And then this side here, enchant with fortune six. Bam. So look, fortune 12. We have fortune 12 on our X. So now I can go ahead and strip this off of here. Just needs 14 levels, we're close. Bam, and uh, bam, and look, there we go, fortune 12. All right, so it does work. I think that the max that you could do, I don't know if it actually would work. Look at that, fortune 12, available, bam. So yeah, we can store that in there, fortune 12. We could even do that again, that whole cycle, but I think it caps out at like fortune 16. But if we take that and we put it onto our pickaxe, it's only 14 levels. I think I know we have some diamonds too that we have in our mine that we can test this on. Uh, where did my book go? Okay, so now we have fortune 12 on our pickaxe. <clears throat> so, um, if we go over here and we go to our mine, which we haven't been to, by the way, since I uh, ran my auto miner for a while. But if we go to our mine and we come right over here. Yes, look, I still have these diamonds that I never picked up. There's also some down there. But let's see. OK, let's clean up our inventory. Let's see, soul shards can go away. We still have our firework rockets. The ethereum ore, we're definitely going to work on something with that. We can go ahead and put our um, scroll back away. <laughs> and the looting three book can stay. And our ring can go back on. All right, moment of truth. No diamonds in our inventory here, right? Ten diamonds. Thirteen diamonds from that one. <laughs> that was only seven, but since six, but it definitely worked. <laughs> 36 diamonds from that little section of diamonds there. What about our emerald ore? How many emeralds? 
Okay, well, you suck, emeralds. Uh, and then you only ever give one, correct? Yes. But, yeah, that was 36 diamonds from a fairly small um, diamond mine. Well, I guess it was a five, which is actually a pretty decent-sized diamond vein. Let's check this one out, okay? So we have 36, right? Okay, that only gave us one. That one gave us a nine? Eight. That gave us eight. Yeah. That gave us 45. That gave us nine, seven. We have a full stack. That gave us two, one, and one. So, again, it is fortune, so it's random. But from those two diamond stacks, we got a stack, or those two diamond sections, we got like a stack and a, half, a quarter of diamond. Oh, look at this. This is what I was waiting on all this stuff for. Let's see. I'm just going to see how much we got. <laughs> from that one, we got another stack. <clears throat> this absolutely works. That is awesome. Thank you to uh, El De Los Santos for pointing this out. Um, and they gave credits to Ray Zolti on uh, Discord. I don't know if that's on the Better Minecraft Discord. But anyway, uh, thanks for pointing that out because that is freaking awesome. Oh, my gosh. How much redstone would we get? No, only six. Redstone's affected by fortune, isn't it? Yeah, from those, we got 43. Coal, we got 12. Oh, my goodness. If only I had a, you know, a need to mine. All of this coal gave me what? Two stacks? That is awesome. Still only one emerald, though, which that part was a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Um, anyway, let's see. I think I had more emeralds somewhere over here. I would like to see if we can get more emeralds, but I don't know if... Oh, hello, sir. I forgot that this is a death mine trap down here. Yeah, see, look, our bow no longer does a lot of damage. It took three shots to kill that skeleton. I do not like it, same I am. We need to get more power on here. Um, another... There was another bow that was pointed out to me. The electric bow from Astomir's Forest Craft which would require us to get electrite, um, which would require us to get thunder feathers, and those drop from a thunder screamer. So we'd have to figure out where the heck we get a thunder screamer, but this uh, bow deals, it's a damage over time, so they take extra damage on top of the, the damage they would get from the bow in the first place. So I'll add it to our to-do list. The enchantment library is cool. We can store all of our enchants in there. So anytime we ever need them. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of our enchanted books that we have out of our um, inventory. And I'll just store them in the library. And then that way, you know, I don't have to do the whole searching for enchants thing. Like we do here. You know, I have to be like, oh, do I have fortune? Oh, no. No, I just look in my enchanted library and see. Oh, look, I have fortune. <clears throat> So anyway, that's it for this episode. I say that is very successful. We have a looting or fortune 12 pickaxe now, and it can go even higher if we really wanted to. So in between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and make get the looting books. Same process. It's going to go to the soul char, the soul enchanter, get looting three books. I don't, it's a total of what? Four looting three books to be able to get up to 12. I may even try to go for the max and see if we can't go, which would just be a total of what? Eight looting three books it shouldn't take too long we have the soul shards and if not it's pretty easy to get so uh next episode we're going to come back and we're going to have looting i don't even know looting ridiculous is basically what we're going to have so anyway if you enjoyed this episode please feel free to like comment subscribe i do appreciate it it really does help out the channel and uh thanks for stopping by thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one have a good one